Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is knife time again and we are outside to test the extraordinary Leatherman Crater C32X. Hopefully I got this right. There we got the knife. This is the serrated model as you've already noticed. They also sell this in plain edge and you're uh, only looking for the C32 without the X in plain. You can get this knife in black, like it is here, or silver. And I gotta tell you, it's a very small and slim, cool design knife. It has a thumb, th thumb stud, so you can flick it open like this, really, really easy. It weighs absolutely nothing, feels great in the hand. Even if it is a little short for me, you can <laughs> uh, really grab it good if you deploy the second cool feature which is the small carabiner which also doubles as a bottle opener because as we all know you can't have enough bottle openers and now if you take a look at this it rests perfectly you can see the rest of the carabiner sticking out and you can hold it like this and process all your wood or whatever you're doing and I wear size XL gloves so size 10 and these fit my hands easily so really really cool um, if you want to put this away this little carabiner you just depress it and it swings around like so and it's secured with a liner lock which works beautifully as you can see and i have to say every little detail on this knife is very well thought out you have a very good belt clip, which is not too strong, not too weak, perfect balance. Um, it's pretty deep carry, so that's also very nice. Um, the liner, I don't know if the camera picks this up here, um, is actually milled. So first off, the liner is perfectly centered in there and it gives you a super sturdy lockup. There's no side to side and no up and down wiggle, which is to the milled out liner. So it actually rides over there. So gives you a nice ramp. And you also got some washers down there. Hopefully you can see this. And the blade centering is perfect. There's no wiggle, as I mentioned before. Knife is very, very light. The grip material is some kind of plastic, which is textured horizontally and then on the swell here has a little other pattern, so it's a little more grippy to you. Very, very smooth pivot, which can be adjusted over this little screw. Um, the only downside I've found so far <laughs> on this whole knife is that the thumb stud is not ambidextrous. So this is tip down and right hand carry only because there are no holes on the other side for the clip to go. That's the only thing where lefties are really screwed with an otherwise absolutely great knife. The blade material is 420 high carbon, so 420 HC. Um, <laughs> not the particular super steel. But for an EDC knife, it's good enough and it holds in good edge. Comes pretty sharp from the factory and also the serrations come pretty sharp. Um, one thing to mention, the, um, the serrations are actually sh chisel ground, as you can see here. So that's a little tricky for sharpening these. But since I got the knife, I never had to sharpen these. Um, I also didn't sharpen the plain edge, but we'll see how it holds up today. <laughs> Will be a nice workout for this small little knife. Yeah, so far so good. A lot of speech and well, let's get and wiggle down some wood. Okay, let's start out easy. goes through like nothing and also the serrations 
as you can see really bite into the wood give a nice pattern and if we I hope this is still in frame power cut the knife really takes a lot of material away more than I actually thought it would so let's step up our game this is a pretty good log of birch I cut down and just to give you a reference this is my thumb so as you can tell this is a pretty thick beast and let's say I would like to flatten this out so here we go just cutting away on this I mean birch is not a particular hardwood but for such a small knife it's pretty impressive and speaking of the size the blade length is actually only 66 millimeters including the serrations which matter about 33 centimeters so the half of it uh, for you guys over in the US that's about let me translate this about two and a half inch of blade length and half of this comes from the serrations so this works really good Let's see if I can get a power cut here in frame for you yes I can do it and this really takes away a lot of wood so you can actually use this around the campsite do all your carving work I mean you're got, not going to baton with this so don't be too over aggressive it's only a folding knife but for a folding knife this is really really impressive <laughs> can't stop <laughs> so much fun and as you can see we already made a huge impact in here looks really cool the tip is also pretty good for drilling so can easily do that no problem and the blade is also very precise so if I just want to make a notch right here can also do that and here we go the nice notch absolutely no problems and now let's get rid of this right here just cutting through this and now if I would make a point into this it's also absolutely a no-brainer bam there we go we have a notch could cut up this oh can actually saw with the serrations so very cool okay let's get rid of the top right here so really really fast paced job and I get my tent pack can set up my tarp set up my camp do what I need to do even with a small EDC folder like this yeah um, finally I think I'm going to show you a shot of me um, yeah having this in my pocket and that's about it so I can definitely recommend this knife for anybody who's searching for a small lightweight EDC blade it can handle a lot more than it looks like uh, whether you take the plain edge version or the X version like this is it's personal preference I like this version I also like the plain edge version just make your decision on it and yeah thanks for watching until next time